Next, I'd like to do an example. Calculate the gravitational force between a banana and an apple. So, according to Newton's law of universal gravitation, there's a force acting on the banana from the apple. Force like that. And similarly, there's a force of the banana pulling on the apple that's equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, and collinear. And our goal is to calculate the magnitude of this force. So I'm going to apply Newton's law of universal gravitation. Here's the equation. The gravitational constant is known. I'm going to estimate that the mass of a banana is about one-third of a pound, which is 450 grams divided by three, or about 150 grams. I'll estimate the mass of the apples, also about 150 grams. And I'll estimate the separation distance is one meter. So now I have all the information I need for my calculation. So I've substituted numbers into my equations. Let me check my units. So kilograms squared cancels kilograms squared there. Meters squared there cancels meters squared there. And my answers come out in Newtons as I expect. Excellent. Let me do my calculations. So the gravitational force between a banana and an apple is about 1.5 times 10 to the minus 12th Newtons. A minuscule, tiny force. Now I've zoomed out so you can see the whole example. And the key idea is the gravitational force between common bodies is typically negligibly small. Now that changes when one of these bodies is the Earth, as we'll see with the next example. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it has been very useful for you. See you next time.